less than the response to the button pressed by the user. But there are other ways the user can give commands. That's right. For instance, we could write some code that runs when the user checks off a box or holds an object down for a second. For Android, we use listeners to react to these events. A listener waits and listens for a specific event, like the user checking a checkbox and then reacts to it. In this lesson, we're going to create an onTextChange listener, which runs when the user changes the text in an edit text object. Start by adding both the edit text and a text view to your activity. In the onCreate method, type the name of your edit text, add this code at the end. You'll probably get a red squiggly line showing you have an error. You can fix this by clicking on the text watcher part, pressing Alt-Enter, and clicking Implement Methods. Doing this will create three new empty methods called before text. Text change, on text change, and after text change. As you might have guessed, these methods respectively run before, during, and after the edit text is changed. For a purpose right now, it doesn't matter which one you use, so let's stick to on text changed. With all that in mind, we have a challenge for you. The goal is to check if a number entered in your edit text is an odd or even. The user should see feedback as soon as they type their number in. So you'll need to use an on text changed listener. You'll also want to add a try catch block to stop the app from crashing when the edit text is blank. Good luck coders! When you're done, compare your code to the code we provided above. Bye, Super Coders!